Viola Rules here, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. So, in the last episode, we started investigating Sayaka's murder, and because she was murdered in our room, everybody assumes that we're the ones that did it. That's unfortunate for us, but, um, we did find some things. We found out that our room was completely wrecked, but we did find out some things through, uh, investigating with Kyoko, who just left. Now we're supposed to go and talk to people. Uh, specifically, Chihiro, and we're also supposed to investigate where the knife and Sayaka came from. So, so what happens if I do try to talk to Mondo? By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, it's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. So if I, if I ever find the person that did this, I'm gonna pound their face in. But what if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> he hadn't thought about that. <laughs> Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey! I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Well, at least we have Sakura on our side. Well, partially. So. Oh, hello! That startled strange. me. <laughs> So, why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, you got it wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. <laughs> even if what you say is the absolute truth, you are still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Oh, come on, Byaki, I don't make me feel even worse about it than I already do. Huh? <laughs> After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? Well, assuming I was the original target... The reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms? She's dead because of me? Wait, but... Wait, no, she's the one who suggested we switch rooms, not us! <laughs> Kuro... Well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That's... that's really true, then I... <sighs> what the... <clears throat> huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. Yeah, I noticed that. <clears throat> that's a little odd. Also, do I already have Saika's DVD on me, and that's why I'm not going into the room? Anyway... Oh yeah, I need to investigate where the um, murder weapon came from. It was a knife, and the only place I saw earlier that had knives was the kitchen. Oh, hey. Nina, are you investigating the dining hall? Hmm. Oh, no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. So you've been doing nothing this whole time. This is all first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me keep me calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. So she was in the dining hall. Okay, good to know. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big and small, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or... Better see if anyone here knows more about it. Kitchen knife set has been added to the truth bullet section. I mean, it looks exactly, or very similar, to the one that's stuck in Sayaka right now. I'm pretty sure this is the only place you can get knives from, so... Don't know why there's really a question. Well, Sayaka, I mean, not Sayaka, 
Hina said that she was in the dining hall last night. So maybe we can ask her about it. Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally! Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right! Nope! Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So, when she knows one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back t to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining mm. hall? Yeah. So in other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night, which proves I didn't take it. Yes. We need to secure our alibi of being in Sayaka's room. Um... Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? Oh god. What? Of course not, I would never. Hina, you know, do you really think I murdered her? Cause, I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But still... But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then killing one... Then killing the other is a classic drama setup. So, when you consider everything together... Aww. I honestly have no idea. Uh, thanks for having faith in us, Hina. Well, at least uh, he knows supplied us with a way to get an alibi. Oh uh, yeah, um, what's his face? Mondo mentioned the, mentioned the trash room. Suck the Leon real quick. Hi. Seems like something doesn't seem right. Monica Mafia said Psycho was killed in your room. Can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Is it now that I'm supposed to look at this? Huh? This is Saya? This is Sayaka's room, right? Hmm, I guess that's just because we're just supposed to notice it, I guess. Huh, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very strange. Mr. Nayagi, what was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. Most I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Anyway, let's go to the trash room, since it was mentioned and it was highlighted in yellow, so... Hmm. There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Monokuma oh, God. Appears! Sudden Monokuma, hi. It's the end of the line. The trash room. This is where all the trash in the skull eventually winds up. How do you get the scale? No, no! You can't go any further! No, no, no! No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! Cleaning duty? No, no! You can't go any further! Okay. Uh, okay, we got it. Who's on cleaning duty? No, no! You can't go any further! <sighs> this is stupid. You probably just go around and No, no! Them. You can't go any further! We get it! <laughs> um, so I'm looking for whoever was on cleaning hmm. duty. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so it happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care- Oh, sorry. <clears throat> For some reason I thought Makoto was speaking. It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the position. Hmm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't gotten... I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Here we go! Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in... That's the wrong voice. That's Monokuma's voice, isn't it? I can barely hear myself speaking with these headphones on. So, apologize if I mix up voices every now and again. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm-hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can throw things out whenever we want? That does, that does seem more convenient. 
He makes a plank. So, in other words... Actually... How many kills? Unless they are discovered. Hmm. So that's it. <clears throat> that must be why. Oh, yeah. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. The thrill? Boring? Hey, listen! Anyway, more important than that... Hey, you bastard! Hey, fatty. Why'd you, you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh, um... I, I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Fire, I know why you did it. Is it You like... want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, and poking around at it. Okay, yeah, actually, I wouldn't put that past it, Boomy. Leon makes a good point. There's no way to think about this in a common uh, yeah. sense kind of way. What are you talking about? All my love is for 2D. You know what I mean. But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... Come with me, please. I I'm would so never terrible. get tired of 2D. <sighs> After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. So basically, what he's saying, he's the only likes drawings. Yeah, and PVC figures. PVC figures? Give me a break. How are you, uh, how are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to dispose of it. <laughs> what? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to... Anyway, on another topic, Fumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask of you. Mm-hmm. What? So now you suddenly want to join my party. Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. <laughs> what game is this even referencing? I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. Okay, no, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You got it! Oh, okay. <laughs> so easy. So Fumi and I head down to the trash room. So mm. Fumi speaking in video mm. game terms mm. all the time is very mm. amusing to me. Jeez, that sound guy. <laughs> You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. He said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. What? Get busy living or busy dying, he said. So him and Rhea, they found themselves a way out. Oh, whatever. Please just hurry up. Da -da 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 -da! Okie dokie. Leave it to me. Fumi pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Mr. Naegi! However, Mr. Naegi... Without a doubt! Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend! You planned this all along! No! I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. Mm. But the mm. actual killer mm. is you, isn't mm. it? You want to see if you left behind anything. <laughs> Wait, maybe a parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Okay then. I see a couple of things on the ground here. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. It looks like a shirt cuff. Mm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? Okay, weird Elvis reference. Anyway, this is it's like a piece of cloth in the shape part of a sleeve from a button-up shirt. Now that I look at it, there's definitely blood on the cuff, which means this is all that's left of the, the evidence the killer destroyed. Well, there are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. Yeah, there's... Who all has white button-up shirts? Byakuya's wearing one. Leon's wearing one. 
Actually, I can't think of anybody else who's wearing a white button up shirt. I not enough to figure out who the killer is. I have to look at all the characters again, but I know that Byakia and Leon are wearing white button up shirts. <laughs> there are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it's be some kind of glass ball, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Yeah, is that? Do you know what this is? Mm-hmm. You say, if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Dragon Ball Z reference, okay. Hmm. Mm, kidding aside, it is the kind of thing you might see on any big city street corner. Ease into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Uh... Reference has gone over my head. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? Only one person it could be. They should be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Shattered crystal ball. This is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good thing it's a good thirty feet from here to the gate. Ah, and it's on right now. Well that's dangerous. Mm-hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going and the yellow button to turn it off. Why yellow? Why not red? Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? <laughs> what? Someone turned the incinerator off? Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off the last time I was down here. Is it a fairy? No. If only do you realize what you just said? <laughs> huh? The fairy? No, the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> oh, yes. About, th uh, about that, there can be no mistake. If I got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as, as I was opponent, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I am the only one with the key to open the gate... Most suspicious! It, it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of mm. evidence to collect. Mm. Mm. This whole thing mm. is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off. They accidentally click something. Why don't you me, Mr. Mr. Nagy? Will you be confessing soon? I didn't do it. <laughs> Everyone sure already knows he did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sounds like he's only on one of his comic book fantasies. Probably. But anyway, we've got an all... Actually... Hold on a sec. I see, yeah, that's, that's all I can click on, so I'm just going to... Back out of the area. So, list of people to talk to. Chihiro, um, Hiro himself. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. In fact, let me check the map and see if Chihiro's in this area before I do anything else. Oh. Oh wait, Sayako's room is highlighted as a point of a uh, point that we can go to. But I don't know why. Okay, never mind. So it looks like Jihiro's not around here, so let's just go and find Jihiro and Hiro and talk to them. Or Yasu Hiro, if you want to call him by his full name. Oh, and there's Chihiro too. Convenient. Talk to Chihiro first. Hey Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Oh, what is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Mm, um, sorry, no. Chihiro sh slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I just don't know. 
Well, okay, don't worry about it. Thanks for trying. I mean, she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, it couldn't be. Hey, Hero, can I ask you something? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here now. I've had enough. Gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it. Uh, um. Hmm? Oh, Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Uh, uh, that's my crystal ball. But it's all smashed. What the heck? I, I only bought it bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. Well, that's how they get you, isn't it? So, how did it break? What? what? It was actually just made of glass and not crystal? That guy totally duped me? Like I said, Hero's very stupid. <sighs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. That doesn't even make any sense. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was it really all BS? You're a very gullible person, aren't you? Um, let's put that aside for now so you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you. Uh, um... Uh, yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. Left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. So, that pop, that one has been updated? Nice. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted uh, to know. Um... Sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune-telling for two full years. What? A million dollars for a crystal ball? Even if it was authentic, that is a crazy price number. What? Um... That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. Oh, God. <laughs> Hero, why? That's just too, too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. <sighs> yeah, I feel the same way, Makoto. And Junko still here, I guess. Anyway, so is there anything else to investigate? Because I kind of feel like there's not. But, I don't know. Oh, right. Forgot. Saika's DVD. We still have to do that. TV room is over here. So let's go ahead and see what was what exactly was on Sayaka's DVD. Yeah, I'm just checking the time just to see how much time I have. It's a DVD player. Wait. Oh, okay. Right, okay. First, I tried going into Sayaka's room and it wouldn't let me. Apparently, I do need the uh, DVD from her trash can. And it holds shift to run because it's taking forever. It hasn't marked as a place where I should be able to go, but I can't. Why? I don't think it's definitely my room, but the nameplate is side because the nameplate. Nameplates on my room and Saika's room were switched. So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Okay. So yeah, apparently I had to go look at my own door and now I should be able to go in here. There we go. That should have been obvious. I don't know why I didn't think of that. There only be one thing in the trash can. Yep, the DVD with Saika's name on it. 
because I got really upset after seeing what was in that video. I wonder what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Sayaka, I need to borrow this DVD. Okay, so let's leave. So let's go and see what exactly was on the sign, because uh, DVD now that I actually have it with me. Hmm, I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Saya kind of threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen, put the DVD in the player, I pressed play, and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then. An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. Standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there along with the friend she had been- that, ha that she said had been so important to her. She was possibly glowing there in front of the crowd so full of life. Seeing that image made, made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then- that voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speaker. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. Mm -hmm. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Suddenly the screen went dark. And in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. Oh. Saika had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. And noticing even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had simply collapsed. Are they dead? This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. Uh, that's why Sayaka flipped. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What a what could have caused the group to go to pieces? That's right, Sayaka was afraid. Look for the answer after graduation. Without warning, the video cut off, so... I can't tell if the look for it, for it after graduation is a thing that the game is telling to us, the player, or if that's a part of their video. Trying to get them to graduate. That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. He's trying to say that even... that Was he trying to say he was even able to get to them? That really did happen. Everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? Okay, it's so it's time. time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! Okay. Sorry I didn't read that, but um, yeah, basically just saying that we should go to where the last trial is going to take place. Hmm. Hello. Yo! You're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. Is there any way to be late for this, though? <laughs> I bet you were afraid you would be discovered as the murderer you are. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There, we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. Ugh. Okay. Well, so they really are convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Saiga both know that all too well. But then who is the killer? The one who murdered Saika. Is it really one of us? <laughs> 
<laughs> Is everyone here? Okay, then. Please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom, you where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. So the first class trial is about to start. Um, I'm going to end this video here, and in the next one we will do the class trial, because the class trials in this game are long. They are extremely long. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, both of which will be linked in the description below, and subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or a new subscriber right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified of when I upload videos. This is Viola Rules, signing off. Talk to you later.